Well, hello, everybody. You want to play with my rocks? Okay, what I've been doing is... There it is. She's still wet. It's a little damp. Um, I can't believe how perfectly the carpet got cut. All the way down the line. Because all I did was... Um, I came up to the concrete. I had a little bit of spill under of that 2x4, which is fine. Not a problem. And uh, so I kind of re-raked re the stone underneath my feet right here. And um, I pulled up like the dust. Now this is DGB driveway mix. It's got that dust in it and it helps com compact it and everything. And uh, yeah, I've got like a totally smooth transition right here now because I brought some of that concrete dust in. This is where the old concrete seam is. And uh, I just brought some of that loose stone dust in. And kind of packed it all level and stomped on it a couple times. But yeah, got my subwoofer hooked back up. And of course the concrete comes up to there, but you can see where I did the round over. I rounded over the edge here. You can always, you can see the trough mark in it here. And uh, I just got to sweep it off. I got stones all over, but yeah, I was worried about there's be a huge drop off here and I keep stubbing my toe on it, but no. Nope, it's fine. And I can adjust that. I could just bring a little bit of stone dust in and just raise the carpet up a tiny bit. But, yeah, that's not bad at all. I'm pretty happy the way it came out. Because uh, I forgot my pile over there. I got one of these. So I went all the way around the edge with it and uh, curved the edge over. I just ran it back and forth, and <clears throat> that helped separate it from the 2x4. I did that last night. That was the last thing I did. Because you know when you see concrete work, you, you see that line in it like that. And that's what that is. It's just a round over a bit. And it kind of gives it a nice smooth edge. You know, sharp edges to chip off the old block. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So now finally I got some concrete there. And if I ever pour any other concrete, um, who knows if that'll ever happen, but um, I could pour it right up against this, and then I could take my, my round over, and then I can be standing on the dry side and rounding it back this way. So it'll be another curve here. So it'll be like a, a break in the concrete. Because you know on big driveways, they put those lines in the concrete. That's, that's there in case the concrete cracks or shifts. The relief points so so you don't end up with this wicked jaggedy crack like I've got all over the place in my garage because these were poured one big slab so it wasn't professionally poured so here Billy Bob did it yes now I got some cleaning up to do out here I guess put some of my crap away and the garbage men are gonna hate me this week I got all this other crap to get rid of so yeah, I'm happy now. I could probably bring a little bit more stone in right there where you can see it sinks a little bit, but I got almost dead level here. A little dippy-doo there and perfect up there. But I got a whole trailer full of stone out there, and that's what I did is I went out and I raked out all these humongous chunks like this, these big chunks. And you can't put them up against here because it's just be too bumpy. You got to get the finer stuff, make it smooth. So, that is going to be cool now. And that'll dry probably pure white eventually, but underneath is still wet. Because when I pulled the board off, um, I took my chisel, and I was chiseling right down the face of it, knocking any spill off, off of there. And then I got to bring some up here where I had the metal pegs in, and I kind of packed it back in the corners. Concrete was still so mushy. So I just packed it back in, so that'll seal nice and tight. I don't know if you can see it or not, but maybe, maybe, well, way up there. But, so I got my plastic under here. A little bit, little bit of mushy mess in the corner, but guess what? I don't care. I got concrete now. 
Now I can let my sack back down. God, I couldn't sleep last night with my sack all tangled up like that. Yeah. Nobody wants a droopy sack like that. But, now leave him out of the way. There's a little bit of stuff in here I can get rid of. But, so now, probably what's going to happen is when I put everything back into place, these pipes that went up inside, I may have to trim them now. Because now the pad's a little bit higher. So, and that is nothing. This is a huge accomplishment for me here. And I don't know where the hell that freaking scrape came from. Where the hell that come from? Damn it. When are you guys sneaking over here at night, screwing my shit up? Doesn't matter. All right, so that's the big news of the day today. I, um... I put that boat motor on Craigslist last night. I put a little bit of gas in the carburetor. One pull, the thing fired up. And then it quit. And I'm like, well, good. Because, I don't know, the impeller's probably dry. It probably just ripped the impeller apart by doing that. But, well, no, it didn't. It was in neutral. That's right. The engine was in neutral. So, I know it runs. So, I was getting a little goofy with the price. If you're in England, I was getting a little cheeky with the price. I stuck it on for 800 at first, <laughs> which I know was, was totally ridiculous. And then uh, I looked on there, and everybody and their freaking grandmother is selling a boat motor for like 150 Guys got two of them for 200 bucks. I'm like, oh, my freaking God. You know, but none of theirs run. I mean, some of them are just like garbage, but this runs. So I dropped it down to six, and I said I'll take an offers. So... We'll see what happens. See all, I don't know. I sent a freaking nice motor. It's a really nice boat motor. I mean, that thing runs, when I was using that, that thing runs awesome. It's got a lot of balls to it for a 10 horse. It pushed a 14 foot boat around like nothing. Alrighty, <clears throat> well, I'm gonna, I got shit all over the place. There's one project done out of my hair now. What I got left of my hair. And, um, God, I got up at today at 11. Every freaking day, it's the same thing. It's 1 o'clock now, almost 1. Get up at 11, you know, and go take your freaking medicine and shit, and then you go watch TV, and you fall asleep, and you wake up. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, the medicine I take knocks you out, so I'm pretty much worthless for half the day. But then I'm out in the garage half the night, so... Well, that's, that's it for my concrete job, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Like, subscribe, and share, and take care.